Apple likes to do things differently. When we were all expecting the iPad 5, they come out and call it the iPad Air. When we were expecting the iWatch, they all call it Apple Watch. Like, Apple is a single letter they can put in front of something. I don't... Yeah, I don't get it. Apple Pay and Apple Ad. I guess the advertising agency is called iAd, which makes more sense. But you know what? Whatever. So the Apple Watch was announced alongside the iPhone 6s, but they're not coming around for a while. We just know it's 2015. I almost feel like Apple was forced to release this because of so much pressure from other companies and their own fans. But once it got here, we really didn't realize that, you know, maybe we don't need that. So me personally, when I found out about the iWatch, I thought it was very interesting and I thought it was a sleek design and very interesting just the way they pulled it off very different from a lot of fan interpretations about what it would look like they had their own take on it and it wasn't leaked that much for once Apple actually kept things pretty on the down low with that watch we were still not even sure if it would be released at all. But it did. They released two different sizes and three different versions with all different bands that can be replaced and changed and I'm assuming third party people can add on to that. They used this digital crown to keep us from having to use two fingers. Very clever but overall I will say it didn't blow me away and that's because this is my just opinion on things. I never thought that you know even the Google Glass or the smartwatch should ever be a standalone device. Apple Watch does require an iPhone, but at the same time, I don't feel like that an accessory to an iPhone should cost as much as an iPhone. You see, the new smartwatch was priced at $350. Apple uses the term starting. What that tells me is that the price can only go up. And knowing that the cheapest model is $350 does not excite me very much. Yes, the first iPhone was very expensive, and you know what? Maybe over a couple of years, the watch could get cheaper and be more impressive to people, and in the future, I could see myself getting one, but just not right now. There's not a huge need for me that I would have to not get into my pocket to get my phone out. I can either check for the time like this, or check it like this. It's not a huge deal. Battery life is something they were quiet about, and for many of you people out there, this will be a deal breaker. But me personally, I don't care if it's a 24 hour battery life, a 10 hour battery life, or a two week battery hour life. I'm not gonna be getting one. I used the iPod Nano 6th generation as a watch for quite a while, but then, you know, something happened. Water, I, I didn't remember that my watch was waterproof, or was not waterproof. So I was hiking and I was like, we gotta refill our water bottles. Take it in the creek, look up, hey, this isn't working. Then it fell apart and it was a sad story and everybody died. So me personally, I don't feel like I need a watch and I won't be getting one anytime soon. But for those of you people who will be getting it, I wanna know, is it a game changer? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Did you seriously just say that? When did you get here? Check your watch. Okay, bye.